Yes? I heard a noise. Did you break something? Um, Lisa for Jones. <laughs> yeah. Coffee and Governor, sure. Governor Desk Biosystems, you called? No. Can I come in? You don't mind, do you? Nah, of course you don't. It's Welsh, isn't it? That surname of yours. I mean, not the forename, because that is decidedly hellish. What were your parents thinking? I don't have parents. That's very good. Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. Why don't you whack the kettle on, eh? I'll have a little chat. So we can sort you out. Sort what out? Your head! Those antagonistic and loquacious pangs of grief and guilt there, chiming mercilessly inside that beautiful broken bonce of yours. Oh, I can hear the music on it. Dulcet tones of disrepair. Shining inside that bell of yours. And drown out all hope and destroy you utterly. Milk, six shivers. Wait a minute, how do you know my name? Zip. Please. Too much talk and not enough tea. I will explain everything in time. Oh, what is it about tea, eh? It just fucking perks you up. I mean, it could be the sugar, right? Probably the sugar. It's the sugar, isn't it? Probably the sugar. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, who cares? Who, who bloody cares? There's me waffling on and you've got a pow going on in your head. It's constant. The anger. The guilt. And the filth. It's like static, when I mean, you can't change the channel. It's my fault. Even though they said it wasn't. They said it was a freak accident. <laughs> that I'm a good guy. With a name like Lucifer. I didn't choose it. No, just pulling the chain. It's not your fault. He didn't name you. Besides, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I'm sure there are plenty of lovely adults out there and somewhere, it's probably some bloke called Gandhi who's just a massive cunt. <laughs> Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but <laughs> I'm done. I'm over. I can't change my thoughts. Ever tried not thinking them? Of course I have. Then I'm thinking them, I try not to think them. Doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Lucifer. I can help you. Now, if you would just like to pop yourself down on there. What is it? It's the washer. We're going to give your brain a wash. We're going to get rid of all those nasty little thoughts that you've been having and store them on here. I'll keep them in the archive. That way, if you ever need them back, just turn up and reclaim them. No. No, I don't want them. Ever. Please, help me. Okay. Don't worry. It's all gonna come out in the wash. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Your brain is now waxed, cleaned, and polished, and 
ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm glad to hear it, that you are ready. Now you can go out into the big bad world and you can accomplish anything that you want. Thank you. What do I owe you? Oh, my dear boy. You've already given me so much. Well. Yeah, you know, like job satisfaction, like, like selfish pride I get uh, helping someone in need. Oh. Now you're ready to go out then. Make a difference. Make history. Take life by the edges. Go Blossom. Be Lucifer. Off you go. Ta-ta. I know you, but I don't. You meant so much to me. But now I'm cured. You can't hurt me anymore. Still alive. What's wrong? What's happened? Something's not right. I need to come in. Nah, it's, it's very late. This is most irregular. I need to come in. Entree. <laughs> what uh, seems to be the problem? You've taken too much. Or not enough. There's nothing. There's no grief or sorrow or guilt. No love, this, this isn't right. Oh my dear boy, you can't have it all. Where's my life? My, my memories, they're there, but they've got no flavor, no, no, no color, no substance. Maybe we didn't get all the bad out, maybe. How about another sesh? No, I, all right, all right, all right. All right. Sit down. I want to show you something. Taking my life. Oh, fuck off, Lucifer. It's not like you're enjoying it. Life made you ill. Life made you all ill. All I did was cut out the cancer so that you can have the ability to heal yourself. 
Take Mark here. He lost his wife and twin boys during childbirth. I took his pain and his anguish and with resolute he found the tallest building he could and he liberated himself. He jumped. He flew. All this. Liz was brutally raped by her boss at work. After one session with me, Liz walked straight into work and gave life both barrels of a shotgun. No more whimpering in the corner like a coward, crying like a little baby. Oh, and Luke, dear, dear Luke, he was racked with guilt after what he did to those young children. But I gave him the power to walk back into that school and not only save himself, but save 23 future cases of pain and anguish. And he did it all with a steely British pride. I haven't just taken your pain, Lucifer. I've taken your reason to live. I made you better. And now you're cold, unclouded. You are a mighty weapon. I'm a mighty weapon? Yes, you are. So... I want you to go and get that piece of glass you put under your cushion and instead of crying over it, I want you to cut out your own throat with it. Okay. Cut my throat out? Yes. That's right. You're going to show life a lesson. You're going to show it that you don't care. Hug. Come here, eh? I don't care anymore. Yeah. Why'd you keep them? Uh, what? Tapes. Why'd you keep them? So that they don't get into the wrong hands, I guess. You could destroy them. You keep them here. The archive. Why'd you do that? I, I, I don't know. I don't believe you. You didn't save me. I was going to do it anyway. You just wanted what was in here. In my head. I think I'd like my pain back now, Mr. Cavendish. No. Please, please, they took everything from me in the village. They made me drink this leaf. They tied me down, please, it's all I've got, the machines, the tapes, all disappear. All disappear. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to me?